It's um sometime. Hi guys. Can you guess the title of my next video? Write your guess in the comment section below. How are smartphones changing us? Ha! No one can change the one and only umsum. Yeah, yeah, you huh? show off. Bending and staring down at our phones for several hours increases the stress on our neck and spine, leading to neck and back pain. Experts refer to this condition as text neck, and it can eventually lead to serious consequences. Also, at night, when we stare at our smartphones, the light emitted from their screens makes our brain think it is still daytime. So, our brain oh. does not produce the sleep hormone melatonin, causing us to stay awake for long hours and thus, disturbing our circadian rhythm which regulates our everyday bodily functions. This can lead to obesity, diabetes, cancer, etc. An interesting fact is that smartphone addiction has given rise to a new phobia called nomophobia, short for no mobile phone phobia. It is basically the fear or anxiety of being without our phone. Hmm. Topic, human nose. Why do we get <laughs> nosebleeds? I don't know. All right, I'll explain. The medical term for a nosebleed is epistaxis. The most common epistaxis is anterior epistaxis where bleeding happens from the front part of our nostrils. Each of our nostrils has a mass of blood vessels called Kaiselbach's plexus which oh. is very close to the skin surface. Hmm. Now, usually the mucus moisturizes the skin in our nose, thus protecting the blood vessels in it. Wow! Mucus is so useful! Yes, it is. However, during winter, the air is dry. Hence, when we inhale this dry air, it draws moisture from the mucus which in turn leads to the drying of skin in our nose. Hmm. Now, some people's skin is oh. very sensitive. Hmm. If it dries, the skin and blood vessels in it get easily damaged, causing an anterior epistaxis or nosebleed. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Why do elephants huh? have big ears? To fly! <laughs> Not at all. Ears basically help to hear. Hmm. Besides this, Big ears of an elephant also help it to regulate its body temperature. But how can ears help to regulate body temperature? In living beings like elephants, blood supplies heat oh. to all parts of the body, thus helping it to maintain the body temperature. <sighs> However, due to metabolic activities or hot climate, oh. sometimes heat in the blood can increase, huh? thus increasing <laughs> the body temperature of the elephant. Now, an elephant's big ears are filled with blood vessels which oh. are very close to the surface of the skin. Hence, when blood having more amount of heat flows through the ears of the elephant, the heat from the blood escapes into the atmosphere, cooling the blood and in turn cooling the elephant. <laughs> what are those do not eat packets? It is a top secret. No, it's not. Do not eat packets usually contain silica gel, which is a form of silicon dioxide. Silica gel packets or do not eat packets are commonly found in products like packaged foods, leather articles, etc. Because these products get spoiled by moisture. Silica gel helps to keep them safe by absorbing the moisture. Oh, you mean absorbing the moisture, right? No. Absorption is a process in which a substance is taken into another substance, whereas adsorption is a process in which a substance attracts and holds another substance on its surface. Now, silica gel contains millions of microscopic pores. If there is any moisture present around the leather articles or packaged foods, then the pores of silica gel attract the moisture and hold it on their surface, preventing the products from getting spoiled. Hmm. Topic, light and sound. Oh. Hmm? Why do we see lightning before thunder? Hmm? Don't go out tonight. A huge storm is coming. <laughs> Look at the weather outside. <laughs> see, there's a huge lightning strike. Hooray! Now, very soon, you're going to hear some thunder. <laughs> 
told you. Don't get scared. It's just thunder. Do you know why you saw the lightning before you heard the thunder? I will tell you. An interesting fact is that lightning and thunder occur at the exact same time. Then why do we see lightning first? This is because a light travels faster than sound. The speed of light is 300 million meters per second, while the speed of sound is only 340 meters per second. <laughs> Thus, the light from the lightning travels much faster to our eyes. As a result, we first see the lightning, shortly followed by the sound of thunder. <laughs>